Hello, my name is Sarah Milburn and I am the TESOL Programme Coordinator and Instructor here at ILSC Montreal. Um, here are a few of our graduates from the TESOL TKT Certificate Programme to tell you a little bit more about the course. Hello, my name is Laura, I'm from Colombia, I'm 17 years old. I'm Sina from Korea, I'm 19 years old. Hello, I'm James, I'm from Korea, I'm 23 years old. Hi, uh, my name is Camila. I'm from Brazil and I'm 18 years old. Hello, my name is Li Ting I'm from Taiwan. I'm 32 years old. Uh, at first, I was really enthusiastic about learning English. That's the reason why I was taking a TESOL course. And I thought that the best way to learn foreign language is to know how to teach it. And I'm surely tell you that it was true. I thought it would be a good idea to improve my English, but not only to improve my English, but also to give me more opportunities in my future, like in my professions and open more doors and I would have a variety of options in my future. So yeah, I after taking it, I can guarantee that it's a really good experience and I really improved my English and for sure I learned a lot of new vocabulary and I'm really happy right now. I was now. a teacher in Taiwan for 10 years. Uh, the reason why I want to take the TESO courses is because um, in Taiwan my job is just help my students to pass the test. I, uh, it's pretty Asian way. So I really want to know a different way to teach. And after this, uh, I take this course, I found um, I got many useful techniques and skills. I really get very good experience here. So I, I believe you should join us. This one is how to uh, elicit, uh, elicit a student to, to answer questions or to talk. Because uh, as my experience in my country, my students always are very quiet and they just listen to the teachers and the teacher always teach them. But I felt I really need to listen to my students more and know my student more by uh, like ask many questions or answer uh, my my or answer me or like they really have many different ideas. Uh, I really need to know like know that not just teach. For me, actually, it's you, Sarah. <laughs> uh, um, before I came to here, I've studied English for more than ten years, but. I've never found a teacher who correct my mistakes, whatever. I just uh, serve the English problems and check the answer on the back side of the group. But it never helped me. But now, finally, I have a teacher who always gave a feedback to me. So, I don't know. It's, for me, it's the most memorable thing. For me, the peer teaching part, it was really challenging because at the time my English was not enough to teach someone and I thought that and before peer teaching we need to find a compromise to make a topic and we, we needed to decide the topic that we are going to teach and it was really hard to find a compromise with the other person and that was challenging and the peer teaching itself was really challenging for me, um, like, because I used to be a teacher in my country and I really like talk a lot in my class, usually just me, only one, only one person talk <laughs> yeah, so for me, the most challenging thing is um, how can I uh, plan my lesson to let my student talk more yeah, and uh, talking, talking to yes, her. how can I do that? And this for me is most challenging, and uh, I till now I'm still um, trying to do that. To, to do that, mm, follow the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it was like a lot of pressure. For example, me, I have really like I have to do it to make it everything on time, and like follow every day, like every day something different. And this, this thing, like, make, make me, make me learn a lot, like, yeah. for me, the time, like, the timing, 
actually the timing, doing the class, in our classes, doing the homework, because you have to make sure that you do everything. To, like, to look back and see all the things that I did. Like, I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's awesome. Like, I feel that I worked hard a lot, a lot. And when I got the certificate and um, the last day, even when I received the results of my exam, it was really like, oh my god, I did my job. And also, my my classmates, the, you, Sarah, the teacher, was very, very important. Like, I, I have experiences of courses. They give you like, they give you this a certificate, but this one you really because you work for it. And it's, I got the, the feeling. It's amazing. Yeah, saying that to your family. No, I did the TESOL course, and in my case, like it's. Amazing! Like I got a certificate with honors, and <laughs> so it's like, oh, that I got the certificate and I got it with honors. Oh my God, my <laughs> daughter! <laughs> you know, like, it's amazing how you know that like, you actually learned everything, and it's really good. It's it's really a mission accomplished. Yeah, for me also, I'm proud of myself. I can get 100% uh, attendance, and also I get a, a certificate with honor. And uh, I made it. <laughs> yes. And uh, after I uh, go back, I went back my country, and I was I also was a teacher there. And I can tell everybody I got this certificate, and it's re really useful because I went to um, my language school. I show them uh, my TKT certificate. They hired me right away. It's true. When I got a certification, I don't know how can I explain it, but it was just exciting that. No, but you have if you have this class, you're gonna see the whole process you're changing. And yes, even if it is the most hard challengeable time, they're gonna help you a lot. And the thing that I can surely tell you is that the TESOL was tough yeah. and it was really tough. Like I said, the uh, homework for every day, every weekend was a lot. That was a lot. And I can surely say as well is that a lot of homework did help me. And after the, after the course, I could feel that I had improved. Mm -hmm. That was important. It was tough, but I did it. And I didn't forgive, for, I didn't give up, and I made it.